Welcome back and joining me today, I have three guests on the show. We have Chrissy King, who is the executive director of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Muskoka, and also Sandy and Courtney, who are matches with Big Brothers of Muskoka. Thanks very much, ladies, for joining us today. Thanks for having us. So Thanks. we have you on the show today to talk about the, uh, the new campaign that Big Brothers Big Sisters is running, which is uh, Move for Kids' Sake. Christy, I'm going to throw it to you first, just if you want to tell me a bit about this campaign and, and you know, what it means to the, uh, to the organization right now. For sure. So Move for Kids Sake is a new virtual fundraiser that we are running. And it's really awesome because everyone can get up and get moving at home. And you can choose any way that you want to participate. So instead of Bowl for Kids Sake this year, which you would normally see around this time of year from us, we are doing Move for Kids Sake. So you can choose um, gardening, you can choose walking, uh, biking anything anything that you want and you get moving share it with your social media with your kind of social circle let people know you're raising money for big brothers big sisters of muskoka and you support matches um like courtney and sandy fantastic and you know to mention we we did want to do something a little more personal unfortunately COVID 19 has kiboshed that a bit so we we've brought you guys uh through zoom the wonders of technology that we have today um, to talk a bit about your match, Sandy and Courtney. So Sandy, um, first of all, I just wanted to start with you. Um, you know, I know you've been involved with the organization for quite a while, and uh, I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, why you felt it was important to be a, a big sister and, you know, what kind of um, benefits it's brought to you. Um, I think the biggest thing for being a big sister for me was um, to enjoy the company of a a young child. It didn't mean oh, a girl or a boy. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, teach them some things that I know and uh, uh, just have fun with them. And that's my main majority with any of them. Any three. I've had three over the many years and uh, watch them grow up to be uh, a good human being. And uh, I love being big sister. I, uh, I enjoy the time me and Courtney have been together for I think three years now, and we will be together together until she's sixteen. And uh, but yeah, I love it. Uh, you get to spend time. You get to do a lot of different things with them. You, she's just pretty much part of my family. Uh, she pretty she comes to all our stuff Christmas, Easter when we could <laughs> before COVID. Uh, but I think it's just a great opportunity to. Uh, share your time with somebody that uh, is looking to want to be your friend and uh, just talk to them and you can do anything with them. Everybody thinks it's such a hard thing to do. And honestly, it's not. You, you just talk to them. They want somebody to talk to other than their parents or single parent or whatever, or even some of their friends. They just want somebody to be there for them. And I find that uh, comforting. I think it's a great opportunity. Courtney, uh, you know, turning to you now, three years is a long time to have Sandy as your big sister. Um, how has it been going for you and, and, and why do you think that this is a benefit to you? Um, it's going good. I really like it. Um, and I don't know. It's not. I like spending time with her. I like to talk. We like going for walks a lot. Helps a lot. I don't know what to be saying. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, we do like I say. We do everything together, and it doesn't matter if it's something small or big. And uh, like I say, we just. I just went down. Uh, last week, and we went for a walk, of course, separate with our mask on and stuff and just talk, just, just talk about school and her sister, her sister's bugging her and, and, mm -hmm. you know, just stuff that you just don't normally talk about your stuff and family or whatever. It's not, it's not necessarily a secret. It's just something uh, different. Somebody that uh, knows that she can tell me anything in confidence that I'm not going to relate to anybody and uh, like having fun. We like the fun, same things. We did a lot, a lot of snowshoeing. Uh, this past winter, of course, with uh, the COVID and stuff. So we tried to get out and, and be active for myself as being a roller person. But uh, yeah, and she just likes to, I got her onto reading. This girl would not read. 
not read. Every time I tell her, you need to read, you need to read, you just need to get one book and then you will. Well, that's what happened after two and a half years of me kept telling her to read, read, read. She's become a reader. So uh, this just makes me happy. It's, it's very important to do in life. And so, uh, you know, just stuff like that. Courtney, do you feel like Sandy's saying, you know, she's giving you, uh, you know, an outlet for a lot of things that you're, you're dealing with and feeling, do you feel like you have a, a better way of, of dealing with these things now because you can talk to Sandy? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, I think that's obviously the, the main focus of this organization is to provide kids with an opportunity to have these outlets, right? So... Um, Chrissy, I'm just going to quickly turn back to you and, and if you want to just again outline um, this fundraiser because as we're trying to suggest here, this, this fundraiser does help with matches like uh, Courtney and Sandy and giving these opportunities. So um, if you want to tell me again how people can get involved and you know um, what they could be doing. Yeah, absolutely. So again, the initiative is called Move for Kids Sake. You can go to our website, muskoka.bigbrothersbigsisters.ca. You'll find the information there. You can also find it on all of our social media. Um, social media is actually probably the easier way just to be able to click um, the link. You can sign up right online. You can sign up as an individual. So if you want to just participate as you know, just yourself, you can say, I'm going to um, walk one kilometer for every $10 raised, every $50 raised, whatever you set it to be. No fundraising goal is too small or too much. Um, and what your fundraising dollars will do is support our agency, agency to support matches like Courtney and um, Sandy. So I think, you know, we've said a couple times on the program, um, the agency is primarily funded through donations um, and fundraising initiatives. So we're having to get pretty creative right now with COVID and that's why you're seeing um, some of these really cool virtual initiatives that are different than what you might've seen in the past. Fantastic. Well, listen, uh, Chrissy, Sandy, Courtney, I appreciate all three of you taking the time today to talk to us about, uh, first of all, this fundraiser and also why it's such a benefit to the organization. Thank you again today. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, James. All right, Thanks. with that, we're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. we got plenty more coming up.